うえおわいうえおわはいふへほほほこんにちは、サブマユキジンス。This is your ユキネ from ユキニュース。And today, ミユキ is not here. ごめんなさい。She's been sick, so we're here to talk about this disturbing news that I've been hearing recently. I'll try my best to stay calm. Before we start this video, please don't forget to join our subreddit where we share Japan related memes. I'll put the link in the description. The Tokyo Olympics chief Yoshiro Mori resigned over sexist comments he made during the Japan Olympic Committee meeting on February 3rd. During this meeting, they were talking about increasing the number of female board members to 40%. And Yoshiro Mori said that if they increase enough、uh, female board members, the board meetings will never end because female members tend to speak more and He even suggested to give them, those、uh, female members, a time limit on how much they can speak. Many athletes, including Osaka, were not happy about this incident, and hashtags on Twitter were growing asking for Mr. Mori to resign. I think that someone that makes comments like that, they need to be. Or they need to have more knowledge on the thing that they're talking about. So I feel like that was a really ignorant statement to me. At that time, he apologized for what he said, but he made it clear that he won't be resigning over this incident. But the backlash continued to grow. I don't know what came up in Mr. Mori's mind for thinking that he would get away from this after making that hollow apology. An online petition demanding his resignation had almost collected its goal of 150,000 signatures. Mr. Mori finally resigned only after receiving this backlash from everyone, including the Major sponsors of the games like Toyota Motors. To be honest, I don't really care about Olympics. Many people here are just trying their best to survive during this pandemic. And nearly 80% of the Japanese public opposes holding the game as scheduled in July, according to the most recent poll. I just laughed when I heard this news for the first time. First, I was thinking, oh, Olympics is happening, really? Wow. Many people are suffering, including frontliners, workers, including. Doctors, nurses, medical workers who are sacrificing their lives right now. I mean, until to this day, they are not receiving enough help. And here in Japan, they're still willing to have this big Omatsuri festival, Olympic, whatever, in less than five months. Second of all, when I heard the news, I thought that the person who made that comment, who made that sexist comment, must have been time traveled from. Edo period. Well, jokes aside, when I read the article later, it says that he is 83 years old, and it kind of made sense to me. I'm not saying that all the people his age think like this. I just happened to hear this lots of sexist comments more from older people in real life. There is another similar news I heard just yesterday. Let me just read you the article from Tokyo Reuters. Japan's ruling party invites more women to meetings as long as they don't talk. <laughs> really? Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party, long seen as a homogeneous redoubt of elderly men, now wants more women at its key meetings provided they don't do the talking. The party, in power for most of the time since 1955, has proposed allowing five female lawmakers to join its board meetings as observers in a response to criticism that its board is dominated by men. It's just the facts. They're just telling you the facts. Oh my gosh. Two of the party's 12 member board are women, while only three of its 23 member general council are women. The proposal comes after sexist comments from former Tokyo Olympic chief Yoshiro Mori, himself an LDP. A、uh, Liberal Democratic Party LDP member and a one time Prime Minister sparked a global outcry and renewed attention on gender disparity in the world's third largest economy. The move would allow female LDP members to see how decisions were being made, said Toshihiro Nikai, the party's 82 year old Secretary General. He said he had heard criticism that the party's elected board was dominated by men. Again, this is just the truth. It's facts, okay? This is what he said in the 
conference, news conference, it is important to fully understand what kind of discussions are happening. Those female observers will not be able speaking during the meetings, but could submit opinions separately to the Secretariat Office, the Nikkei newspaper reported. LDP, are you f***ing serious? To me, it's like Japan is moving backwards. This is ridiculous. When you compare the current state and gender equality in Japan to other countries, you can tell that Japan is very much behind in every single way. It is just freaking crazy. Japan came in 121st in a recent global gender equality ranking conducted by the World Economic Forum. This news just proves that we are so behind in terms of female political leadership and economic participation. It is very difficult for women to achieve higher positions in life and I think traditional attitudes towards uh, gender roles is arguably one of the causes. I myself experienced this and I even have this friend who got fired just because she said yes after being asked if she was planning to have a family in the future. The day after she said yes, she got fired. It is crazy, okay? I know in some fields Japan ranks the best, but when it comes to gender equality, it is kind of sad to say that we are one of the worst countries in the world. And I think this news that I'm sharing to you guys, it just proves how bad it is. Women may not pursue certain jobs because they are still expected to balance their career with a uh, housework or like being a mom, which is an expectation their male partners doesn't have to the same degree. And I think one of the reason is because there are less female leaders in Japan. Like see, even the board meetings, they are allowing female, they're allowing them to just observe. Maybe we can also see it as a step forward. <laughs> but still, oh my gosh, like we're so behind. Let's see what Japanese people are saying on Twitter. He's saying that this is really embarrassing, but we want to tell the whole world that this is the current situation in Japan. それを良しとするならジェンダーを語る資格はない。今の時代これほど女をバカにした例は聞いたことがない。It is kind of uh, disappointing for the people who believed and voted for them, you know. 自分の国を代表する政治家だと思うと恥ずかしいでしかない。That's also how I feel right now. It is very embarrassing that these people are representing our country. Because, you know, they're one of the leaders. Okay, someone said that what if they just put dolls instead so it will be enough because they don't talk. <laughs> That's basically what I try to do, you know. It's really the same thing. <laughs> These politicians, it seems like they have this ingrained mindset that women are not as important as men in the society when it's not true at all. And Japan's gender wage gap and percentage of women in managerial positions were both below uh, the world average. So there are still many obstacles that, you know, kind of prevents women from taking these roles. This is just f***ed up to me. I know in many countries they still have this type of issues and this issue of gender equality plays out differently in each country. So I would love to know your opinion in, down the comment section. Anyways, this is just a quick video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I post a video every single week, and if you have any suggestion, let me know in the comment section. Also, please give a follow to our shop Instagram at Arte Asharika. Until next time, Yukina Deshita. Ciao!